Hi, and welcome to Gotham Sound TV. I'm Nick Houston. Uh, today we're talking about the brand new uh, Phonak Roger earwig system with the earwig and the bass station and the touch mic and all that stuff. Um, we put together a quick setup video so you can kind of see how it works. Uh, the one thing we did not do uh, is give you a sense of how this thing sounds. Um, it sounds a lot, a lot, a lot better uh, than the old, um, you know, 216 based earwig. So we'll do a quick, you know, demo so you can hear, um, maybe kind of hear the sound quality. It's not quite the same as shoving it in your ear, but, um, you know, we'll hold it up to a microphone and, and see what we can do. So here it is. Jared, that's Beethoven, is that right? Oh, good. There's some nice, lovely Beethoven being streamed through the new Phonak Roger. And uh, as we listen to Beethoven, I'd like to now roll straight in to this week's Masterpiece Classic, How to Set Up the Phonak Roger. Roll tape. Hi, I'm Nick Houston here for Gotham Sound and Communications, and we are getting a quick look at the new Phonak Roger earpiece. Brand new, just arrived yesterday, and uh, definitely one of the hot topics at NAB this year. Uh, so we'll get right into it. We'll open it up. Um, we've got the Roger earpiece here, so let's see what's in the box. Okay, in the box is your standard Phonak case. Very nice. And inside is the new Roger earpiece. Looks a lot like the same carrying case for the old earwig, but the new Roger is just a little bit smaller. So there's the new one. Here's the old one. You can see, and it's pretty hard to see, but the new one is probably, I would say it's turning around on the table, but it's probably about 20% smaller. Um, so pretty significant. Uh, the other difference, obviously, is that uh, this is digital. Uh, so this operates in the 2.4 gigahertz band where the old earwig used to operate in 216. So let me put the old one away, bring out a dime, just so you can see it's literally almost the exact size of a dime. Um, other differences in this, uh, this goes back to the old style of battery door. Um, so where you put the battery in like that. Use the same size earwig um, battery, the size 10, or you can get the, uh, the batteries directly from Phonak. So we'll just take one out and put it in. There we go. Pardon my clumsy hands. There we go. Take it out, put it in, and boom. Okay. I can go right in my ear. And I do hear a little beeping. What the beeping is, what the beeping indicates, is that um, it's not in range or it's not tuned to anything, which makes sense because we don't have any transmitters. Okay. Um, so other things in the box um, are this CNC spray um, with a microfiber cloth. Imagine that's for cleaning the earwig. Uh, and then another thing uh, are these comfy soft wraps, which looks like look like they wrap around um, wrap around the earwig to make it sit better in the ear. So anyway, so that's what's in the earwig box. Let's look at the actual transmitters. Uh, so Phonak has released two different transmitters. One of them uh, is called the touchscreen mic. Uh, it looks a lot kind of like an old, I don't know, iPhone or smartphone or something like that on the box, but let's see what it actually looks like. And here it is. Um, so it's a pretty basic design. Looks like um, there's the power switch on the side. So I'll just go ahead and turn it on. Lights right up. And then you've got a couple of different options. Um, honestly, we won't go into all of these things, but the, the big one here is to connect. So you hit connect, and then it, because the earpiece is next to it, it's automatically connected to the earpiece. You have to be in proximity to connect it. Uh, let's see if it works. I hear myself. How exciting. Um, now, the range on these is about 25 feet, so you have to be pretty close using this transmitter um, to, actually, to, have it, uh, to have your talent be able to hear you. But uh, the nice part is you can, it comes with a bunch of different accessories, uh, you know, chargers, et cetera. Also this little necklace, so you can hang it around uh, your neck. Anyway, but let's not, 
let's not deal with this. Let's actually do a test. We'll turn it off and just say yes. It is a touch screen. It's pretty easy to use. It's actually the first time I've paired it, so you can tell it's for real, for real easy. Um, okay, other stuff. Let me get this off to the side. So let's move on to the base station. This is how a lot of people will wind up using that. Uh, this is the base station. Now the base station actually transmits at the same power level as the, uh, the touchscreen mic. But because it's a base station, you can use external um, antennas with it. And we recommend using something like this, which is the RFNU 2.4 gigahertz CP beam. It's a high gain antenna, and that'll increase your range from about 25 feet to somewhere between 75 and 100 feet line of sight. Uh, very important. So um, let's take a look at the base station itself. Here's your antenna. Uh, here's your output volume, uh, your linking button, and your uh, power button, okay? XLR input on the back. Uh, looks like it's XLR and tip ring sleeve, so you can use either one. USB port for future programming. Uh, and external power supply. Looks like it takes five volts. Uh, so that's not perfect for the location sound mixers, but let's turn it on and see what we can do. Uh, power supply included. I'll put this off to the side. And we'll unwrap this. Uh, and power it up. You see a nice little click there. Um, so to sync this, you got to hold it in front of the antenna and push this button. Uh, and so when you do that, a uh, green light lights up uh, and it shows that you're paired. Um, now, if you're using an external antenna, you would want to put it in front of whatever your external antenna is. So the CP beam, you would put it in front of the CP beam to make it pair. If you put it here, and it's not going to work. Um, all right, so that's the new Phonak earwig. Digital, sounds much better than the old one. Uh, it's a little bit smaller. Thank you for watching. For Gotham Sound, I'm Nick Houston. Okay, great. So that was how you set up the new uh, Roger earpiece from Phonak. Um, again, broadcasts in 2.4 gigahertz, auto-tuning once paired with a base station or the touch mic. Um, so you won't have to worry about frequency coordination, uh, anything like that. Um, and yeah, available now at Gotham Sound. Um, if you want, yeah, if you want to take a look at it, if you want to demo it, if you want to hold it in your hands, we have them here. They're really great. Um, and really, they sound so much better than the 216 stuff. The talent will be so much happier. Um, anyway, next week, uh, we have... Uh, we're going to do a piece on building custom rigs, digital consoles, Dugan Auto Mixer with touch screens. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Um, but the really big news is that this Saturday is the Gotham Expo. Think about it as, um, you know, kind of a, that trade show that happens in Vegas, but in the east. Um, so that is going to have over 25 different vendors represented here at Gotham Sound. Uh, free pizza, an after party with beer. Porta potties outside, uh, actual gear, and tons of sound mixers. Um, so that's Saturday, May 14th, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. More information on gothamsound.com/expo or on our Facebook page. Um, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you can view this video and more at uh, Vimeo and YouTube. And if you have any ideas for content, please email us at info@gothamsound.com. At Thanks so much for watching.